Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll go ahead and convert Visio files to PDF using Power Auto. Before we get into the demo, let's quickly look at the Visio file. So this is how our Visio file looks like. I want to convert this file into a PDF and save it back into a different document library. And to automate this process, I'm going to use Power Automate out here. Let's consider that we create an automated flow and let's select a trigger. The trigger in our case would be SharePoint. So I'll select SharePoint and let me select this trigger when a file is created or modified properties only. To the trigger, I'll give it a site collection URL and select the library. The name of a library is Visio Demo. Next, what I want to do is I want to get the file content because the file content is what I want to convert. So again, let me go and select SharePoint and I'll select get file content. Here, I will again specify a site address and I'll pass in the identifier. The identifier is the output of the trigger action. Next is where the real magic happens. I'll select the Muhimbi connector and select the Visio action. So the Visio actions helps us to convert Visio files to PDF. So first it needs a source file name. So I will search for the file name with extension. Again, it's the output of the trigger. The file content will be the output of the action above it. You can also specify a range, for example, if you have a start page and end page, for example, you just want to convert from page number two to page number five in a five page document and skip page number one, you can specify the start page and the end page. So you can also specify the quality. We have three here, optimized for print, optimized for screen and original. Override settings are optional settings. So for example, if something cannot be done using this particular options or values provided here, we can specify an override. And next is fail on error. What happens if it fails? Do you want to go ahead and still continue or do you want to go ahead and stop your power automate or flow here? In our case, I'll set it to yes. Now that we have converted the file, let's go ahead and create the file back in SharePoint. So I'll specify SharePoint. I'll put in create file. I'll go and select the site address where I want to write the file back. I'll specify the library name out here. So I'll specify, I'll write it back to PDFs. Next, I need to pass in the file name. The file name would be the base file name, the output of the action above it. Similarly, I can go ahead, pass in the processed file content, which is the output of the convert Visio document. Give this Power Automate a meaningful name. So I'll say Visio to PDF. Next, I'll go ahead and upload a document. And this should trigger my flow. So I'll go back to make.powerautomate.com. So if you see the flow is running, it has picked up the file, it has got the file content, it has processed the file and it has written the file back already. So if I go to my PDFs folder, I should have a file out here, but this should be a PDF file. So let me quickly open it. And this is how our output looks like. So I hope this quick tutorial was informative. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.